Today I'm going to try and install some USB ports in my car dash. <clears throat> now what I have is a um, one of these 12 volt to 5 volt USB uh, doodads. Pretty basic, just wire up the positive and negative, put a fuse between it and uh, you'll get two USB ports. Um, this puts out up to 3 amp which is quite good. car is a bit of a mess at the moment because I've got a number of different projects going on. Um, but I've taken this bit of the, this is normally where the stereo sits, or in my case I have a touchscreen Kindle Fire, um, and I've taken out a couple of screws here and found that I can lift up this whole panel, um, it just clips in place. There's a few wires holding it in, in place, but what I'm going to try and do is remove the whole thing and then take out this. You can see there's already some damage on this, um, maybe if I can sand that down I can make it look a bit nicer, but the idea is that I want to try and fit the two USB ports there, um, so I'll basically make a hole and mount them like that. That's the plan anyway, um, so I'll come back when I've made some progress. So I managed to remove it from the dash, um, I thought it was just going to be a faceplate but there's quite a bit of uh, plastic behind this. So my plan now is to just have one USB port in the middle. Um, so what I'm going to do is drill, or first of all I'm going to use a chisel and chisel away some of that plastic inside. Then I'm going to drill straight through the middle and then I'm going to use my file um, to try and get it into a square USB shape. So uh, I'm a little bit worried about how the presentation is going to look but if I just take my time I think it should be okay. So I've finished putting it together. Um, it's a pressure fit so I had to put a little bit of a lubricant in there just to make it fit. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how it looks. It's not perfect um, but I could always add like uh, some kind of sealant here, black sealant so that it colour matches or even add the sealant um, cover over the USB port and then spray it um, but I think once I actually put it in the dash uh, because it's quite dark behind there I think it's gonna sort of make it look alright um, here's the uh, the one that I showed you earlier which is just DC to DC 12 volt to 5 volt um, up to 3 amp so of course I can use this as a fast charging port for a iPad or other hungry USB. Um, uh, inline fuse, I've put a 5 amp fuse in there which is the smallest I could actually find. Um, and I'm going to wire that to the back of the cigarette lighter. Um, I already have an attachment coming off there. So uh, I'll wire that in, put all the dash back and then show you how it looks. So I've just realised I've made a big mistake. Um, I can't get the button back in there uh, because of the wire. I, I needed to put it in there first and then feed the USB port in. So I've got to try and get the USB port out. Um, it's going to be very hard because that thing is a very tight fit. Um, so yeah, if you try this yourself, think ahead, use your brain. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I've already, I don't know if you can see back there, I've mounted this using some... Um, 3M double sided tape. Uh, I wanted to make sure it's mounted somewhere because I don't want it to get caught up in a bunch of wires since it's probably going to warm up a bit. Anyway, I'm going to try and get this out. Um, I don't want to snip the wire and then try and reconnect it because those USB wires are so small they're very difficult to work with. So, yeah, uh, think ahead. So, I've reinstalled that part of the dash. Um, I decided that while I was in there I'm going to run the sat nav cable um, underneath here. Uh, previously I had it kind of hanging across the dash and then coming down and it just looked messy so I figured while I have this off I might as well um, wire it on there and you can see it's a removable, uh, it's actually a USB type plug um, but it's removable so I can always take, I can still take the sat nav out if I want but at least the cable is neatly put away. Uh, because in my um, in here I have a you can't see very well in this video because it's dark but I have a freeway splitter on um, on cigarette lighter type and I, that's actually wired directly behind here so I don't have any cables everything is neatly put away so the USB port is here now so I've got the dash put back together now nice and tidy um, here's the USB port and everything looks as it should. Um, I can't show you it charging a phone because I'm recording using my phone, but I'll plug in this USB light. So let's plug that in. Is that in? Yeah, that's in. Um, now, obviously, it's off now, but if I put the key in the ignition, 
you'll see it comes on uh, because it's hooked up to the back of the cigarette lighter uh, of course it's got a fuse and everything like that in between it uh, and there you go you can it's uh, up to three amps you can charge a iPad or um, other heavy USB user this this bulb takes you know not even probably not even a quarter of an amp it takes a tiny tiny amount but you can charge heavy uh, heavy devices using this USB port I'm happy with the finish to be honest